Hello, my name is Paul Gosling and I manage the recommended list of the AHDB. Over the next 20 minutes or so, I'm just going to talk over some of the new developments for the recommended list for 2024-25, uh, focusing on changes to the wheat list. There are other presentations available for other um, crops and you'll find those also on the website. So first of all, some changes to the publication. Uh, these changes have been made in response to the RL review and also a consultation we did with um, users at events over the summer. For the, so for those of you that contributed to the review and spoke to us over the summer, thank you for that. And I think you'll see some of the changes that you requested. The data for uh, the main crops, including wheat, now runs down as a single table. So that all the information on a variety can be seen together on one page rather than being spread over several pages. That's something you asked for. So we've implemented that. We've also moved disease ratings and agronomic information up to the top of the tables along with yield, because you told us that disease and agronomic information was the most important to you when choosing variety. So we've made that change as well. When the booklet comes out in the new year, you'll see that we've added a lot of new information explaining the trialing system, the recommendation process and the data. And the aim of that is to uh, make the information easy to understand and enable you to, to get more out of the RL. You told us you wanted to understand how the trials were done, so we've added that information to the booklet. Another change we've made is that we will no longer produce in the summer edition of the booklet. That was a small print run, took quite a lot of effort and, and expense to produce that. It did have some extra information in, and we've now incorporated that into the winter edition, and so we'll no longer produce that summer edition. A couple of new changes as well to the way you can get information outside of the booklet. Um, the RL app has been changed again in response to, to your request uh, to allow side by side comparison of up to three varieties. And that update will be rolled out um, to people that already have the app as an update. If you don't have the RL app, it's very useful. It contains all the information that's in the RL in a slightly different format. Um, but it is usable without a phone signal, so you can use it offline um, whenever you want. And something new um, for the website is a variety indexing tool. Um, that will allow you to search for varieties by name. It will tell you the first and the last year of recommendation, and that will allow you to go to the archive and find when those varieties um, that have come off the list um, were there, and you can get information on those varieties because you told us there are sometimes growing varieties which are no longer on the list and you wanted to be able to access information on those varieties. And so we've made that much easier to do. So that's changed the list. Uh, now moving on to the new winter wheat recommendations. So some highlights uh, this year. We have a new Group 1 milling wheat, uh, first since 2017, which has got improved disease resistance and improved untreated yield. That has been given a provisional Group 1 uh, rating uh, by UK flour millers. They'll confirm that in the new year when they've um, seen some more samples from 2023 uh, in a commercial scale. We have a new Group 3 biscuit wheat uh, with exceptional treated yield and good disease resistance and new hard and soft Group 4 varieties with high yields and good disease resistance. So just looking at those um, new varieties, there's just five of them this year. Um, SY Cheer, the new Group 1 um, from Syngenta Seeds, that's been given a UK recommendation. Bamford, the new UKFM Group 3 variety from Elsom Seeds, and again, that's been given a UK recommendation. Almara is another UKFM Group 3 variety. This is from Sonova. It's only been given a North recommendation. And then a soft group four variety, Blackstone, again from Elsom Seas, has been given a UK recommendation. Finally, in the hard group fours, we have LG Beowulf with a UK recommendation. That's from Lima Green. We've got a large number of varieties removed from the list this year. Um, LG, sorry, KWS Siskin, KWS Guillaume, Merit, KWS Firefly, Illicit, RGT Saki, Galatian, KWS Jackal, Theodore and Prince, and they've all been taken off the list this year. So now we're going to look at the new varieties in a little more detail. And what I'm going to do over the next few uh, slides is show some tables 
table will show the new variety, in this case S1 Chia, and I'll be comparing that against some established varieties. Some of those varieties, like Skyfall in this case, are what we call our comparative varieties, and those are varieties when we look at the new varieties, the crop committee compares those against our comparative varieties to see if the new variety is better than our comparator and therefore can be added onto the list. In some cases, I'll also show some varieties which aren't comparative varieties, but are established and important in the market. And in this case, we have Crusoe. So looking at SY Chia, um, has a good uh, UK treated yield, 97%. It's not quite as high as Zayat, um, but it is higher than Skyfall and Crusoe. The e treated yield again is good, 97%, better than Skyfall and Crusoe. And the West treated yield is also good at 98%, um, better than Crusoe and Skyfall. North treated yield is limited data, which is why it's bracketed, but it looks very good at 98%, uh, well ahead of Crusoe and ahead of Skyfall. In terms of grain quality, Chia looks good, um, Hagberg 299, so that's ahead of both Crusoe and Skyfall. And a very good specific weight at 79.5, uh, well ahead of Crusoe and just ahead of Skyfall. In terms of protein, the trial's grown to a milling specification, 13%, not quite as good as Crusoe, which is of course class leading on um, protein, um, but ahead of Skyfall. And the millers in general uh, seem to like cheer, it has good gluten strength, uh, and they're, they're very keen to use this variety. Lodging with PGR uh, for Chia is a seven, so not quite as good as Crusoe, but the same as Skyfall. And in terms of ripening, it's very similar to Crusoe, uh, not quite as early as Skyfall. Chia hasn't been given um, UKP branding uh, as suitable for export, um, which is um, perhaps a little bit disappointing, for, um, but it's the same as Skyfall, which also doesn't have it. Crusoe does have UKP export branding. In terms of disease resistance, this is where shear really starts to stand out. Uh, mildew, it's been given an eight, that is bracketed, so it's limited data, but it's ahead of Skyfall uh, by two uh, units and ahead of Crusoe. Yellow rust, it's a seven, um, so much better than Skyfall, much better than Zayat, um, but not quite as good as Crusoe, but it's a good rating. Brown rust is a six, um, so much better than Crusoe, but not as good as Skyfall. Septoria has got a 6.0. So better than Skyfall, not quite as good as Crusoe, but 6.0 is pretty reasonable. Slight weakness, perhaps, to the eye spot, just the four, which is less than Crusoe and the Skyfall. Uh, Fusarium on limited data has been given a seven, so the same as Crusoe and Skyfall. When we add that disease resistance package together, we get a good and treated yield of 84%, which is well ahead of Crusoe at 75%, well ahead of Skyfall at 66%, and is also well ahead of Zion, which isn't on this table. Fortunately, it doesn't have orange wheat blossom midge, uh, similar to Crusoe. Uh, Skyfall does, of course, have orange wheat blossom resistance. As well as tables, there are also some slides in this presentation giving the variety comments for each of the varieties. These variety comments will appear on our website. Um, I'm not going to go through them in any detail. You can pause the slides and read them if you wish. Um, if I go through them all, the presentation will be very long indeed, so I'll just skip over these slides. So moving now to the group three varieties, we have two new group three varieties, Bamford and Almara. And I'm comparing these to LG Illuminate and LG Astronomer, which are two comparative varieties for this group. So I'm with Bamford then. Uh, Bamford really does have outstanding yields. It's UK untreated yield, sorry, it's UK treated yield at 106%. Is right up there with a the feed variety, so uh, very good yields for a group three. The East treated yield 105%, again, it's very good, well ahead of uh, Illuminate and Astronomer. And the West treated yield also very good at 107%, well ahead of Illuminate and Astronomer. The Northern yield is bracketed, so it's on limited data, uh, but it looks like it's going to be good, again, well ahead of Illuminate and Astronomer. In terms of grain quality, um, Hagberg at 239, it's between Astronomer and Illuminate, but it's perfectly good for this group, which tends to have slightly lower Hagberg numbers anyway. Specific weight is excellent, 78.5, uh, just ahead of Astronomer, well ahead of Illuminate. Lodging with PGR is a seven, the same as Illuminate, not quite as good as Astronomer, which is a very stiff sort of variety. But arriving at a plus one is the same as Illuminate and earlier than Astronomer. All these varieties have been rated as medium for distilling. In terms of UKS branding export, 
And Bamford has been given a provisional, yes, uh, suitable, um, similar to Illuminate. Uh, Solomon, of course, doesn't have export branding. The other new group uh, three this year is Almara. Almara has only been given a north recommendation because it's lower yielding than the east and west. The north yield data is bracketed at 102%, but that is a high yield for the north for group three, a 2% ahead of Illuminate and 5% ahead of Astronomy. Hagberg is a little bit low at 186, but as I say, group threes tend to have lower Hagbergs, and so it's acceptable for this group. Specific weight at 77.6 is ahead of Illuminate and not as good as Astronomy, but it's still perfectly good. With a lodging of seven, uh, same as Illuminate, and not quite as good as Astronomy, which we say it's very stiff writing. And like Bamford, it's a plus one on the, on the ripening, so the same as Illuminate, earlier than Astronomy, and again, medium for distilling and potential for UK export um, from Almara. So multiple um, options for marketing that one. Moving on to pest and disease resistance. Um, Bamford has been given a six for mildew, it's bracketed, which is on limited data, but that's better than both Illuminate and Astronomer, which is weak on mildew. Yellow rust is a seven, um, same as Illuminate, just behind Astronomer. Brown rust is six, same as Illuminate, just behind Astronomer. And Bamford does have a good Septoria score, a 6.7, well ahead of Illuminate and Astronomer. It has a six for iSpot, and it has the PCH1 um, iSpot resistance gene. Physarium is slightly lower, but it is a bracketed figure of five. And that disease resistance package put together uh, gives it an excellent untreated yield of 92%, well ahead of Illuminate, well ahead of Astronomer. The only weakness there on that package is it doesn't have orange wheat blossom leaf resistance. In terms of Almara, um, again, a six bracketed for mildew, uh, so better than Illuminate and Astronomy and good for the North, where it's been recommended. Yellow is an eight, same as Astronomy and better than Illuminate. Brown is a six, same as Illuminate, not quite as good as Astronomy. And Septoria with a 6.0, so better than Illuminate and slightly better than Astronomy. I-spot is perhaps a little bit of weakness at a four, which might be of concern to some northern growers. But it does have a six uh, for, for fusarium. And its treat, uh, untreated yield at 87% is well ahead of Illuminate and ahead of Astronomer. And it does have orange wheat blossom midge uh, like Illuminate and Astronomer. So again, I'll just skip over this slide um, to avoid uh, an awful lot of, of reading at a very long presentation. You can pause on it if you wish to read it or find these on our website. So moving then on to our soft group four varieties, we have just one new variety this year, Blackstone. And I'm comparing this to Skyscope and Bearstow, our two comparators for this group. Blackstone's UK treated yield is 103%, so just ahead of Skyscape and Bearstow. Its East treated yield, treated yield is the same as Skyscope, but ahead of Bearstow. West treated yield, is the same as Skyscraper, just behind Bearstow. But it does have a good north treated yield, though. Again, this is a bracketed yield, uh, so we'll wait to see another year's data if that settles out uh, that way. But at the moment, it looks like it has a good north yield, 103% ahead of both Skyscraper and Bearstow. In terms of grain quality, it's good. It has 299 for Hagberg, well ahead of Skyscraper and Bearstow, and a good specific weight, 78.2. Um, compared with 77.1 for skyscraper and 76.6 for better. So, so that gives that reassurance, um, particularly if you're growing, um, selling into the feed market. Lodging at seven is better than skyscraper and bear share. So again, some reassurance there. It is a little bit later, but right near plus two, which is later than skyscraper, but very similar to bear stone. In terms of disease resistance, a black zone has been given a, a seven per million, like the new varieties, it's bracketed, so it's limited data. That's the same as Skyscraper and better than Bearstow. Yellow Rust is excellent at a nine, um, better than both our comparators, particularly Skyscraper. Brown Rust is a six, so better than Skyscraper, same as Bearstow. And Septoria is good for 6.2, well ahead of Skyscraper uh, and just ahead of Bearstow. High spot is a five, so uh, perfectly acceptable and better than Bearstow. The fusarium has got a very good rating of eight. That is bracketed, so we'll see if that's if that stays the same once we've got more data. But that's well ahead of Skyscope and Bearstow. And that good disease resistance package 
means it has a good untreated yield, 87%, uh, well ahead of Sky Scope and Bear Stroke. And Blackstone does have orange wheat blossom midge resistance, the same as the two comparators. Again, I'll skip over um, this um, slide from Variety Comments. You can find this on the website or pause it and read it here. Moving then on to our new group four hard variety. This is Beowulf. I'm comparing it against Champion, KWS Dorsum and Graham, which are our three comparative varieties for this group. A very strong group this, um, but Beowulf is looking very good in terms of yield. UK treated yield, same as Champion, ahead of Dorsum and ahead of Graham. In the East, it's again 106%, um, same as Champion, ahead of Dorsum and Graham. West is 106%, again, the same as Champion and ahead of Dorsum and Graham. And in the North, um, again, bracketed, so limited data, we'll have to wait for the year to see where it settles out, but at the moment, at 107%, it's looking very good, well ahead of Champion, and ahead of Dawson, and ahead of Graham. So there's some very consistent yields across the region uh, for LG Beowulf. In terms of grain quality, it's pretty good. Um, Hagberg at, at 253 is not is better than Champion. It's not quite as good as, as Dawson and Graham, but it does have a um, good specific weight at 78.3. Um, not as good as Dawson, which is obviously class leading, uh, but better than Champion and better than Graham. It's also very stiff straw with an eight, and better than Champion and, and Dawson, and similar to Graham. It is a bit later than the other varieties here, so it's a plus two um, compared with Champion and Nought, and uh, Dawson at plus one, and Graham, the earliest variety on the list, at minus one. Um, so it's a little bit later. In terms of pest and disease resistance, um, again, the mildew rating is bracketed on limited data. It's a six, so it's a little bit weaker, and champion and, and weak than Dawson, certainly, but similar to Graham. The yellow rust at a nine, it's obviously excellent, but the same as Dawson, and better than champion and Graham. Brown rust at a five, um, it's, it's okay. Uh, it's not as good as Dawson, but it's the same as champion and Graham. It does have very good septoria resistance at a 6.7, so that's better than Graham, better than Dawson. Doesn't quite match up to champion, obviously, which is very good uh, septoria resistance, but still good at 6.7. I spot to six, it's best than the, all the comparative varieties, so that's very good. Um, people are growing in the north. And fusarium, but the bracketed six uh, is similar to the comparatives. And that untreated yield with that disease resistance package, 91% matches Dawson, it's ahead of Champion and Graham, all of which, of course, are known for their uh, good resistance to diseases and good untreated yields. So good untreated yield for Beowulf. Does have orange root blossom midge as well, like Champion, which but which Dawson and Graham do not have. Again, I'll skip over um, the variety comments. You can pause on those if you want to read them. So winter wheat summary um, for this year, we have that new provisional group one variety, which brings good disease resistance compared to the varieties already there, good untreated yield and good baking quality. This new group three uh, biscuit variety, um, Exceptional yield for the UK, non Cuga related uh, septoria resistance, which will be important to some people after what we've seen with the Group 3 over recent years, potential for distilling and export. We have a new Group 3 biscuit variety for the North, and Almara brings high yield for the North and potential for distilling and export. We have a new Group uh, 4 soft variety for the UK with high yield, good grain quality, good disease resistance, and potential for distilling. And that hard Group four variety for the UK with high yeat treated and untreated yield and good grain quality. Moving on now to spring wheat. We just have two new recommendations this year. WPB Milo, the new group two from LSPB, and SEW19-300 SW which has also been, which has been given the name of Everlong. It's a, unfortunately, it's a proposed um, name at this stage. Um, it will be added to the GB and Northern Ireland variety list as Everlong in the spring, provided no presentations are received. And that is of group four uh, from Cope Seeds. We've taken off the list this year, KWS Chillum, Hexen, KWS Giraffe and Talisker. So similar to the um, winter wheat, same format, 
um, just go through the varieties, compare them, in this case to Cachis, which is the group two comparator um, crop varieties. So WP would be Milo, 103% for spring sown, so 2% um, ahead of Cachis, so good uh, treated yield. Mildew, bracketed eight, so limited data, but it looks like a good rating. Yellow West is nine, so much better than Cachis. Brown West is eight, a good rating, and the same as Cachis. Septoria, bracketed at this stage, limited data, but a seven, so it looks better than Cachis. Um, only thing it really lacks is orange wheat blossom midge, which Cachis does have. In terms of grain quality, specific weight is 77.2, so behind Cachis, but still pretty good. And it does have a good um, Hagberg falling number 297, uh, which will be reassuring after a the year like this year. Obviously, the late harvest in the spring wheat uh, is not ideal. Protein content at 13.3 is, is behind Cachis, but perfectly good for a group two. And it's a little bit later than Cachis, but with that Hagberg. Um, at 297, that's perhaps not such a problem. It's a little bit shorter than Cachis as well. Again, I'll skip over the variety comment. You can pause and look at that if you want to. The other group for uh, the spring wheat, I should say, sorry, it's um, a group four variety. I'm going to call it Everlong because it's just much easier. Um, and we're comparing that to our comparator Vixen. So UK uh, treated yield 107%, so 1% ahead of Fixum. Specific weight, very good at 80.4%, sorry, 80.4 um, ahead of Fixum at 77.6, and good Hagberg, uh, well ahead of Fixum. That's a very, um, very robust variety in terms of its grain quality. And uh, protein, not so important for a group four, but 13%. Rhyming, it's earlier than Fixum, so again, reassuring for its spring wheat, uh, like, uh, like good Hagberg and earlier, and it is a, a similar height to Fixum. In terms of disease resistance, it's got a bracketed eight, so same as Fixum. Yellow is a seven, better than Fixum. Brown is a seven, again, good. Septoria, it's bracketed, same as Fixum, and neither of these varieties have orange wheat blossom midge resistance. Again, I won't, I won't um, say anything about that slide. You can pause on it if you want. In terms of spring wheat summary, uh, we have the new group two with high yield, good disease resistance, and the new group four with very high yield, good grain quality, and good disease resistance. So finally, just want to acknowledge the rest of the RL team who put this, uh, the uh, data together, uh, run the trials program, and also our partners in the recommended list, BSPB, MAGB, UK flower millers. So thank you for listening. As I say, if you want to look at other crops, there are other videos available on our website for you to view this year's changes. Thank you.